Welcome everybody. It's Friday Night Live. We are live here and um, I've got a new piece right behind me. I'm going to tell you all about it and I'm going to have you guys join in on a little stamp party. If you don't know what that means, I've got Iron Orchid Designs and their lovely stamps in my blooms, blossoms, and branches. I said that backwards. Nobody tell them. Um, we're going to stamp on this piece. But first, um, I just wanted to say hello to you guys, and we'll wait for Kawita Allen to get on here. Um, she's planning on joining us as well. So what has everybody been up to? Last week, I was in boot camp um, back in Fairview, Tennessee. We were, what were we doing this time? Friday night? Oh, we were hanging out in our house. We had 10 women shared a beautiful house in Fairview. Actually, it was in an area called... Um, Leaper's Fork. Have you guys ever heard of that area in Tennessee? It was absolutely gorgeous. The whole area, it's that type where you look at each home and you look at each setting in their yard and it's perfectly landscaped and you think, yep, that was a movie. Yep, there was a movie film there. Yep, definitely recognize that, Sweet Home Alabama. Like, you just keep thinking, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful home. Um, so last week, our Friday Night Live, um, I got to share it with what I had Josie, and I had Christy, and I had Kelly, and I had Karen, and I had Debbie, and I had Jamie, and Zeb, and the IOD sisters, and I had uh, uh, Donna, and oh my goodness, they just, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. I had Kenise. So if you missed last week, um, we had it literally the L couch full. Um, and we were sharing stories and everybody went around and introduced themselves and um, boot camp was long, but so much fun. I met a lot of you, good morning, I mean, good morning. Hi, Mama. Whew, long day already. Hi, Anissa, and I see that Debbie's on here. Miss Debbie Beard, hello! Everybody, it's Friday Night Live. I'm gonna use some stamps. Guys, I'm gonna use some brushes and some DIY paint and put a little magic. See these little things? Okay, they look like maybe not much, but just get ready. Just get yourselves ready. And as I'm talking, I'm realizing that I forgot to pick a winner. My Marlis is on here. She shared um, some time with me at boot camp. Um, I forgot to pick a winner last week. Dad gum. Dad gum. Did you see here, Q? Did you hear what I just said? I asked Q earlier when she said dad gum on a live if that was better than mom gum, which is a totally smart aleck thing to say. Um, but here I am saying dad gum. So, yeah, I'm wondering if it's any better than, than mom gum. It can't be better than mom gum. Mom gum's the bomb, the bomb.com gum. Say that fast. <laughs> All right. So, um, hi, girl. Hi, Miss Barbara. Spent last week with her. So, I'm going to stamp branches, birds, and blossoms on this piece right here. I'm going to use colors from DIY. I will show you all of that in a moment. Um, you bought some, but you're scared to try. Nissa, you're scared of nothing, sister. You're scared of nothing, nothing at all. I'm gonna come to Kansas City at some point, and this and I are gonna do something together, whether it be a class, or I don't know what we're gonna do, but um, can't wait to see her in Kansas City, hopefully. So Q's on here, and um, let's see what she's working on, and um, we'll get her pulled up right now. Let's go, let's do it. Yeah, dead gum. It's, honey, it's not as good as mom gum. We should start saying mom gum. Mom gum, say it like that. Mom gum. Okay, so I forgot to pick a winner, so this week let's pick two. This week, share the video. Sis gum, let's do it. Bub gum, ooh, bub gum. I call my brother bub, bub gum. That kind of wins, right? Bub gum, although I don't want my brother's gum to be the best gum. <sighs> yeah, all right, let's pull up Miss Q. Gum, that's a new one, hashtag it out. Hi, Laura. Yep, I'm only coming to see Mac. Don't even count on your hip, sister. Hi. Hi, darling. Hey. Hi, what you doing? Hey, hey. Well, I'm sitting in my car because I'm at a ball game. Oh, you've got a football game tonight? Uh, yeah, we got a football game. We're actually winning. Yeah, I know. That's so good for them. Awesome. Well, we, yeah. got, we got to go to our game last night. We, I was actually get, I got to go watch. So, um. We had tonight off. So listen, you're not painting. I, 
I'm not going to paint in the car. Now, I do have a piece of furniture in the car. But I'm not <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's a little dark to be painting, and people really think I was weird painting in, in, the, in the Tahoe. So we will just not, not paint in the car. But I am going to learn from you. You're going to make so, me do all the work, aren't you? I, I, need, a, I need a lesson. You need a lesson so on I need, I, I do need a lesson on stamping. So I'm going to let you teach me and teach everybody else. And so that's a branch, right? No, it's a, it's a it's pigment a, too. It, it's a moustache. Yeah, it's a moustache. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. No, I'm not. Well, I really want, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to. I gotta figure out this phone because I, you know, for an hour for me to hold it, it's weird. You didn't bring your tripod in the car? No, and you know I probably should have and just stuck it right out here, but you know, I didn't want to break it. Well, you would too. So listen, I'm gonna show you how to stamp some florals, I'm um, florals, branches, blossoms, and birds here in a minute by IOD because I'm in love with these things. I'm also gonna be teaching my class on October sixth. And this is what I'm doing. I'm going to plan. I mean, I'm going to show everybody how to use these stamps from IOD. So that's why I was planning on working tonight. Is that going to work? Good. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm anxious because I'm, I, I mean, do you, do you, I'm going to, I've got a surprise for you. I'm coming to your class. You are going to come to my class on October 6th. I am going to be a student in your class. You know what? Yes. That's good because I got a lot I can teach you. I know you do. I know it. I right. know. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. You're never, you, you got to learn something new all the time. Got to keep your mind open. And I need to know some tricks. And you think I have those tricks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I've got as many tricks as much as I've got bub gum, too. <laughs> oh, good. I know, Dad it. Yeah, Patty said she bought this stamp from the IOD sisters in Nashville. So when I when we were in Nashville for boot camp, Josie and Sally were there, and they had set up a booth, and they brought all their good stuff. Um, and they're oh good. Hey, hi, Miss Robin Bennett, who lives next door to me. She said this is her first life. It's so funny. My neighbor was over in the garage the other day, and I said, "Well, you know, I'm almost coming up a year for being live every Friday night at eight thirty, and she's like. And I said, girlfriend, there's all kinds of things going over here you don't even know about in this garage. And she's so, <laughs> she's so sweet. And she was like, I had no idea. So anyway, she popped on here to watch tonight. But listen, Q, I'm bummed that you're not painting with me. But I totally appreciate you going on here live with me. Even though you're in the car, you had to walk outside and got in the car. So how many more home games do they have? Well, I'm not really sure because they've done it so weird this year. You know, used to, it used to be, I swear, like, okay, we'd have a home game and then we'd be out of town. We'd have a home game and we'd be out of town. I feel like this schedule is so crazy this year and it's been back to back home games, homecomings early. Our rivalry is usually not till November. They had did that the first game. That is a cute little mustache. I like the curl on the top. So look at this. What's this called? A mustache? No, but well, what's it called? Like a kind of mustache. I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> isn't I that do? Like a, isn't that what those those my, motorcycle guys wear? I'm unsure. My mom will I'm know. I'm sorry. Any any uh, most motorcycle aficionados out here? Yeah. <laughs> so listen. Well, I'm going to get started on this. Okay. But we have to come up with a plan, and I would prefer that they help us out here in this group. So, guys, Perfect. listen up. We've got a plan for October. And when I say October, I mean Halloween. Now, uh -oh. the far as far as the plan is, is that we know we're going to need to come in costumes the Friday before. I would love some feedback. So, type it out. Yes, it's a handlebar. It's a handlebar. Mm -hmm. It's a handlebar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Would you like for them to assist us in deciding what we might be yes. for Halloween together? Yes. Okay. Now, ultimately, ultimately, we we get the right to choose what we do. But yes. we would love your input, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have any ideas or what you would like to see us wear for Halloween, 
Um, Hugh, are you in? Are you in for dressing up? Yes? Well, I think I might be. You but yeah, as long as we have the final say, so I'm not like wearing like a Barney outfit or something. Honey, you would be the cutest Barney I've ever saw. I would <laughs> sing that song with you. I love that song. I love that song. Did you see that someone said um, Monet? No. Lucy and Ethel, thing one and thing two. Hey, I have thing one and thing two costumes up in the attic. Um, nice. Y'all, yeah, me and Matt. I like me and Matt. Blue wigs, I got it all. We all nice. must see Lucy and Ethel, Laverne and Shirley. Oh, it, Marlis is going to show up. Marlis is coming to what? The class in a costume? Yeah. You know what we did? <laughs> we also did a, a fashion show the last night of boot camp, and everybody was able to use a DIY paint on their outfits. We had people painting their phone cases with golden tickets. Genius. I saw Kara's little. Um, did you see Kara's outfit? I saw her little dance. Girlfriend, she was rocking it out in full gear DIY paint. Um, we had Lisa, she nailed it. She painted the bottom of her Jimmy's shoes and she said, Debbie Beard, Jimmy Choo got nothing on you. Oh, it was so good. And but Kenise won because she did the Dion in a dress. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, it was oh, wow. Good. Dion dressed as cute. Oh my gosh, that did you see that one comment? It said, You be me and I'll be you for Halloween. Yes. <laughs> I thought we are we already look a lot alike. Do you think I can work <laughs> on your accent? You you might have to work on your accent and then you have to snort and talk really loud. You might have to work on your accent and talk really loud and snort. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were having so today, you go ahead and start painting, but when you and I were working on something today, yeah. and um, I had a, a really a moment, like sometimes when my daughter says something that's kind of silly, I always tell her how pretty she is. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you look pretty. So today, I had a pretty moment when I was on a little video chat with you today, and it was quite funny, and I think we laughed for 10 minutes. What were we doing? Well, oh, we're working you were helping on, me. You were helping me. Yes, I was helping you with a, a little video thing, That's and awesome. there's an option on there. And Dion tells me, <laughs> she tells me to raise my hand. <laughs> That's what we were doing. We were practicing Zoom. I was having you practice Zoom with me, and I needed you to raise your hand and ask a question. Well, instead of pushing the little button, the, the virtual hand, she looks at me and she goes, I was like, that's not helping me. I need the virtual hand. And we just laughed and laughed and laughed. I know, I just kept laughing because it was so funny. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Um, Is it um, this week? All right, so, so listen, funny. I have used Prairie Gray, Q. Are you so proud of me? I used Prairie Gray. I absolutely, it's, it, I love it. And I like Prairie Gray a lot. Um, I do love it. This is prairie gray. It's almost a brown taupey gray. Then I yeah. used a little bit of farm fresh. And yes. um, I like. now I've grabbed mint chip. And I think I'm going to do my branches kind of in a mint chip mixed with the crinoline. Um, and then I've lost my train of thought. Because you're still thinking about me raising my hand. Yeah, that, used to, yeah, that was pretty classic, Q. That was awesome. <laughs> I was like, raise my hand. Yes, yes. I was like, that's very helpful to me. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm fidgeting, but my arm's getting tired, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to make it work. Okay, listen. I need help. Okay. Um. Debbie, when we're in Zoom, I'm trying to figure out how to use Zoom, and I needed someone to test it with me. And so I said to her, now raise your hand, because that means you're asking a question, and I'll be able to call on you. But this didn't help. I needed her to press the button. It helped me. It yeah. was fun. Uh -huh. So should I make the bird, the birds that are going to be on here, should they be crinoline or mint chip? Everybody answer. The birds. And then the branches, what color should they be? Okay. 
I think they should answer, right? Okay. okay. All right. So well, you guys start answering. We're waiting. And then I've got Fancy Farm Girl that I'm going to use for some of the leaves. Um, hi, Kenise. You're giving me hearts and likes and shares. Thanks, you guys, for sharing. I know it's football season. Thanks. I know a lot of you are football. Actually, Hugh has gone to the car. Um, so, okay, so mom, you want that? You think the mint chip should be the color of the birds? Let's go with mom. Well, everybody else said crinoline, mama. Oh, no, Patty said mint chip for the birds. Okay. Oh, 57 for the branches is what I see. Nissa, she got to throw out something twist yeah. to twist. I haven't even got that <laughs> color over here, Nissa. <laughs> the year maker has to get up and go get it. By the way, you look really cute tonight. Oh, thank you. You saw me earlier. Well, uh, you saw me earlier, and I wasn't so cute. Okay, so I'm going to use my little Frenchie. My, why do I say it like that? A little Frenchie. My little Frenchie. You because know you, you, know, you think you know some French. I know some Frenches. Okay. So... For the branches, I'm going to use the crinoline. Now, that doesn't sound right. No, I don't like that style. What color do I do the branches? I think you should do the branches in the crinoline. I think you should do that you and do? Then, then do the mint chip. Yeah, All and right. then if you think the branches don't stand out enough, then I think you should um, right. re-stamp over it just a little offset with a different color. Yeah, I'm probably going to do some blending. What do you want to bet? Probably. <laughs> Probably. You know, I would say like do a little gypsy, oh, a gypsy green, maybe just like right over the crinoline, like later. Tap it on the ground, Mama. Excuse her. Deep break. Okay, what are the costumes? Are they giving us ideas still for costumes? I haven't seen that. Okay, y'all, we need Dion and I are doing a fun live. On Halloween, we're dressing up, but we are going to put it out there for you guys to tell us what you think we should do together. So, and it's up to you guys. So, okay. yeah. Oh, Nissa, you have not tried the Gypsy Green, sweetie. You'll love that. You'll rock it. Okay, I'm going to also grab some Sandy Blonde to go with my crinoline for my branch. Woo, look at you with the neutrals. I figure, hey. You can I figure, hey, they're paint colors, too, and they should not be always left out so much. <laughs> they, they shouldn't be left on the shelf by me and you. Yeah, yeah that's right. And we love we love the, all the colors. It's just sometimes we're drawn to the other colors. I'm not going to lie. I had a couple of tears fall when I was doing this prairie gray. I'm not even lying. How childish is that? No, no. I'm, I understand. I just no, it's not true. feel it. Like I, I was putting the farm frame hey. over it. And I was sanding it back, and there's, the black is the base color on here, um, and I just couldn't quite do it. So Debbie said we need to go as prom queen and a queen bee. That's awesome. Who's going to be the queen that, bee? Who is? Yeah. Um, well, I think you're the queen bee. And you get to be the prom queen? I'm going to be Carrie. No, you're not. Did you know that I, I knew that you would react that way? So that's exactly why I said. Trying to get a rise out of me. I got you rised up. Okay, so I'm going to use these little stamps. These are the stamps from um, Birds, Branches, and Blossoms from IOD. Okay. And I'm, IOD stands for Iron Orchid Designs. Yep, that's right. And I'm using uh, oh, Blonde cute. and Crinoline. Oh, and hey, Dion, I was going to ask you because I am doing a Betty for somebody, but I don't remember who won it. That person never contacted me. Okay. Well, if they contact you, that Betty is, is theirs too, so. Okay. I thought about that because, see, I forgot to pick someone this week, so this week we're picking two people. So. Okay. I've got Farm Fresh and I've got um, Coral. And we're going to give out to two people because I forgot to pick someone. Okay. So I'm making branches. And did you make a Betty for this week or you just, no. All right. Well, what have you been doing this week, sis? 
Oh goodness. Well, okay. So I have, I have a new, first of all, I have a new designer that I'd like to show you some jewelry. <laughs> it's not me. I'm not doing it, but I want y'all to see this adorable. Let's see if I can get it a little bit up here off this black. Okay. So this adorable, it's on my page y'all. It's got coins and stuff. You can't really see it, but y'all got it. This designer is so good. Okay. So they're called Whiskey Willow and Boho, I think. And then this bracelet, it's like a wrap, and it is, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that cute? Anyway, yeah, really reasonable, that. super cute. But um, So anyway, you guys want to get some of that one-of-a-kind stuff. It's pretty cute and pretty reasonable. So there's that. I have that new little friend. And then I have been working crazy on these big pieces of furniture, these just monsters that I think I, think I need big furniture, apparently. You do. You like, you know, forget, yeah. forget anything, you know, manageable and, you know, for one person. You like Well, I, I know. It's crazy. So I did paint. I started in a, a live. I did a little live yesterday. Um, I started painting this fireplace mantle that I have. It has like an insert that's an electric heater. Yeah. So I started painting it like a light pink yesterday. And y'all, I cannot wait to show that to everybody as to what I did. I can't wait for the person who wants to take it home because it is so pretty. I love this. It's very subtle. And I know on here you can't see it very well, but I absolutely love this. These are so awesome. Now that's, These are so now is awesome. That the, that's just the crinoline? I mixed crinoline and sandy blonde with it. Yeah, I like that. And I'm using the little Frenchie. Le French. Le French. <laughs> now I'm gonna do. A, I, I'm gonna do a mint chip bird. I call him Baby Francois. <laughs> <laughs> He's my little baby boy, Francois. He's a little one. So what do you think we should be for Halloween, Q? Well, damn, we've been doing this a really long time, and I would say, with our personalities. And what they've been um, actually naming us since day one. Yeah. I would say Lucy and Ethel. That sounds fun. I think so too. That sounds like a I lot think of fun. I, I think I'm gonna actually ask my mom if she'll make me a dress. Mama, will you make me one? I don't wanna be left out. <laughs> Tell, hey, wait, she can make both of ours. I'll come up there for my fitting on Friday, <laughs> Mama, <laughs> and you can meet me and make me in Dion dresses like when we were little girls. My mom made everything for me. Me too. I got so, me too. Yeah. Hi, hi, Kelly. That's my roomie right there. Kelly Bailey. I want to meet her so bad. She said the same thing about you. She said she was really disappointed. I know. I was really, y'all, it's okay. We will have something else where I can get to see everybody. I want to see everybody. So, yeah, I told Kelly I might have to take a road trip and just go see everybody I didn't get to see. She is so sweet. Like, Kelly, I know. Kelly's she's just sweet. like, Kelly's just like pure gold. You know what I mean? Like, did Kelly she, is just. She, did she snore? <laughs> no, she didn't, Q. I'm sorry I snore. You don't have to apologize for it. I know, but you know I wanted you to rest as much as, as anybody, you know, so no. it's hard for me because I don't want to disturb people. No, uh, she didn't. She, she, um, she was, you know, when you're sleeping with somebody, you're always kind of like, I don't want to bother them, but no, she, she was just absolutely precious. Yeah. Well, she is so, I mean, she's the sweetest little thing. Yeah, guys, I, we're, talking I mean, about, I, um, we're talking about Kelly Weiler from Girl Upcycled Studio, and Debbie just said Kelly is the sweetest, and she 100% is. She left on Sunday. She didn't get to know to go to Nashville with us when we went into Nashville because her daughter had her 16th birthday on Sunday. Oh, yeah, got to go home for that. Exactly, and she said she did not snore, yeah. but she does have the hot flashes. Eek. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, which one is Lucy? Well, y'all tell me which one is Lucy. <laughs> um, she's the more grounded one, honestly. 
and the more put together one like Ethel would be. And so I would be probably, I would say Lucy and always in a mess, always having an issue or in a pickle or yeah, that would be me. And yes. That would be you. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I love it. My hair's almost already all red. Yep. Yep. That's right too. Yeah. All right. I'm loving this little thing right here. I am loving it. Now we need some petals. Nashville now sure, sure has a nice urgent care. Um, Debbie, am I allowed to tell the urgent care story? Because I want somebody went to urgent care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Oh no. Oh wait. Somebody said this. Oh, Susan said, "Q, you're Lucy." <laughs> she's not more grounded at all have watched have you watched them of course um she's always leading ethel into trouble yes that would be me i would <laughs> oh that's so funny i love that y'all are so sweet so tell me about uh, can we talk about the urgent care story i'm not sure you know let me know okay let me All right. Well, she's here. And look, Kelly goes, what urgent care? <laughs> Ooh, Thelma Louise. You know what about Thelma and Louise I don't care for? That they no. they just they went off the ledge and no. we are not doing all that. So, no. yeah, we won't. Be, I'm mm -hmm. not a risk taker. I'm not a risk taker. I can't do no ledge jumping. Yeah, we won't. We'll go ahead. And I think we like that. That's so funny. Y'all share this because we're giving away... Okay. Two things of paint. Yeah. I can give away the Betty since I'm the lady did. Winners. I'm picking okay. two winners. So this is Fancy Farm Girl on these leaves, and I'm also mixing the crinoline with it. And I'm using my um my little Frenchie. De little Frenchie. Yeah, Kelly, you can <laughs> message me. I haven't seen Debbie's message yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well. Dion, I don't want to say anything about Ethel. Ethel, as far as the look of Ethel, Ethel and Dion do not look alike at all. But um, as far as being grounded, she's probably the grounded one in the couple here with me and her. I would say. <laughs> Ooh, I she, just go, she just goes along with her friend who is always in trouble. However, you were quite a trooper when I sent you those lips in the mail that you applied. Of course. I think I'm always a trooper when we get, and you were quite the trooper when I you broke into your hotel room and blindfolded you and made you paint something for me. Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty If you good. guys haven't seen that one, you need to go to Dion's YouTube and watch the blindfolded uh, canvas she paints. And she truly is blindfolded. So y'all got to go watch it. If you've not seen it, Goodness gracious, see it, watch it, laugh, share it. It's awesome. That's another thing that we need some ideas for. We need ideas for, for Halloween. They are, Trish, mm -hmm. they are so easy. They're so easy and they make such a huge impact. Um, we need to, we're going to be celebrating our one-year anniversary coming up on December 7th. So how should we celebrate? Do you guys have ideas? Thank you, Liz. Hi, Abigail. I got to meet Abigail Idol, too. Um, I want to have a party. You want to have a party? Yeah. Yeah. I have, yeah. I have not seen where Debbie said I could tell the story, so I'm not doing it. I haven't that. either. Uh, oh, um, Kelly, um, it's so dark because I'm in the car. Um, I'm at a football game, and I came out of the football game and got in my car so I could come be live with y'all because I was missing Dion's sweet voice and face and all of y'all. So. Yeah, so we the best we could get her was in the car. Hey, I actually have pretty good light in this car. I was kind of looking, and you know the the light thing that flips up on your visor. Yeah, it's like it's like a ring light. <laughs> it is. Look, look how great. It's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm licking the petals in the um, crinoline mixed with the fancy farm girl and I'm having them just kind of fall down and in, into areas here. 
I know that everybody's saying that Debbie said yes, but I'm not telling the story. Until she did. It's okay to tell it, Dion. Okay. She said it. She All said right. yes. All oh, right. Okay. So, two of two of our group on Sunday had to go to urgent care. Now, we were in. Let me think about this. We were having lunch. Now, when you get a group of women and somebody wants a big steak and somebody says, heck no to the steak, you you just decide, you know, let's go somewhere else. So you go across the street, we'll eat here. So we separated for lunch. Yes. And I had the best salad and margarita pizza at this place. So three are there and four over here. And we're about to finish up. And I get a text that says, we need help. Um, Danielle has a tick. Okay. Danielle is Debbie's sister, who is absolutely precious, and I'm so grateful that I got to spend the week with her because she took such good care of us. She cooks, she cleans, she is just absolutely a precious person. So, um, we ran over there to that restaurant, and we're all seven in the bathroom trying to get this tick to come off of Danielle. All seven of us. So what do you do when you get a tick? What did your mother or grandmother tell you to do when you got a tick, Hugh? Hmm. My daddy would just get them. My daddy would just, he would just get them and somehow get them by the head and get them out. Um, there was a time that he took a match and put it above the tick. Yeah. Yep. And that would back them out. Like not touch them with it? Not touch them, no. You just, it, it, the heat of it makes them want to back away from wherever they're attached to, yeah. I guess. But yes, um, you have to be really careful. You don't want to get that, leave that head in there. Well, Heather says pull them off. On the surface says light a match. Malia says yep, burn them out. So what I remember was a hot pen and like trying to put the pen on the tick to try to get it to release its head from her skin, right? I don't believe right. that Danielle had ever had a tick. And so um, I'm down on my hands and knees and I'm pulling my earring off. And I've got this little pen and I'm burning it with a lighter that they got from somebody. And we are applying the heat to her leg. And she's like, just burn me. I don't care if you burn me. Just get it off. And so after a while, Karen gets in there and she picks and she pokes. And then she's able to pull it out. However, that needed a trip to the urgent care there in Nashville. And so Danielle immediately got put on antibiotics. And they said, you did the absolute right thing by coming straight here and just getting it started. Um, we did not have tweezers. They're from California. They had never, ever, ever seen a tick or anything. And of course, Donna and I are like, most ticks we've seen, they're like this big. They're full of, you know, they're Bad. this was the tiniest Bad. thing I had. This was tiny. Yeah, them Cali, Cali ladies probably didn't know what in the world was happening. What is this bug on me? Well, she knew it was a tick. She knew enough to know it was a tick. But right. well, while we are in, you know, the Grand Old Opry, the reason you don't see Debbie and Danielle in the photos is because they were in urgent care for several hours that day. Oh, wow. That's why. So there's the story. Well, I'm glad everybody's okay. Oh, and Danielle, yeah. sweetie, I'm thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just scary, you know, and nerve wracking. And you just don't want to mess around with that. Absolutely not. No, not these days. That, I mean, once you get that Lyme disease, it's horrible. You don't want that. Right. So we took care of that. So it wasn't funny and nothing's funny about it. But that was just one of the, one of the things we had to, you know, they had to take care of. What do you think, sis? Let me, let me. I love it. I love those little birds. Let me oh bring my you gosh. Closer. I'm going to bring you closer. Okay, I have not had a chance to sit down and really, really play and um, create with those. And I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks I can do that because those sweet girls, they send those to us to 
create and I can't wait to to do that I wanted to meet everybody so bad well those ladies they came by the house and they had dinner with us and, and Josie and Sally who are the owners of IOD um, mm -hmm. you know, they, they're families and it's, it's a family affair now. And, um, right. It is, it's, it's big. Old, that's everybody's there from what I understand. Yeah, absolutely. They are just such a joy. And again, it's almost like I was telling Matt when I got home, I said, you know how I felt about Debbie and you know how I feel about Josie. It's, it's the same type of feeling that I have when I talk to them. So I'm like, they're just good. You know, they're just they're just good. And so anything and everything I can do um, to mention their company or use their products, I am all in, completely all in. Okay, now I've got pink. Um, and I say that because this is a custom mix color that I made between Kissing Booth and um, Petal, Petal, no, Petticoat Pink. Oh my goodness, you fell. Marlis, she, oh, she failed the last night and came home with a shot. You better be careful. Marlis. Marlis Walker, I did not know that. And did I see you with the black eye? No, she said she just did it last night. No, I think she said the last night. Oh, I fell. Oh, wait, the last night. Oh, and came home with it. She sure did. We got oh, goodness. We got twisted ankles. We ended up with all kinds of good stuff. I mean, these girls. Well, and you know, kids. that's one of, one of the reasons I didn't want to go because my iron was so low and I was having so many symptoms. I didn't want to take away from, you know, any time at the boot camp with it being such a tight schedule. So I was afraid that I'd be sitting in the urgent care, <laughs> you know, if something happened. So I, I just chose not to go. So. Yeah. I hated that I had to make that choice, but it was better. My iron is fantastic, so. You're doing great. Yep, you're doing great. Um, yeah, compared to what I look like uh, since December, completely different. Uh, you are so right, yes. You you are. Crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize how sick I looked, oh. really, until I go back and watch these videos. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I look so bad. You, no, honey, you did never look at, no, not in my opinion. Marla said she was demonstrating how to not do a smoky eye. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I had a lady that I bought a bed from uh, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I, in, in, in talking to her, I discovered in this company, there are three women who are basically at the top status, okay? Okay. And I was extremely impressed with her. Um, sweetest thing in the whole wide world. And so it's, a, you know, it's a makeup line. And, you know, I'm not so great with the smoky eye, as y'all have seen before. <laughs> and so I, I was talking to her the other day because I stayed in contact with her. And, and I said to her, I said, um, will you go on live with me and teach me how to do a smoky eye? Yeah? Uh, yeah. I thought, how much fun would that be to actually have somebody do it right, you know? So she said she'd come on live with me, but listen to this. Okay. <clears throat> if I get it right, I'm just impressed with business women who work so hard, you know? Yeah. And are able to um, truly help in supporting their family. Right. Okay. Right. So this young woman is probably, I don't think she's 35. I'm guessing. I'm, she's, so her husband has had the opportunity. I love that pink, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. She's had, her husband's had the opportunity to leave his corporate job and, um, stay at home and then do ministry work, which I think is fantastic. And it helps with the kids. She has 42 thousand women under her wow yes in like four years so anyway just she just impressed me so much i couldn't i just you know you're you're meeting somebody you don't know who you meet when you buy furniture you don't know who you meet you know out on the road or whatever and and when you do it's like kind of going to the boot camp it's just a 
I don't know. It's it's a moving moment, I guess. And I mean, I was so extremely, I don't know her at all, but I was so proud of her just as a young woman who did something that big. Yeah. I mean, she was a, she's a big deal in this company. And of course, you know, I'm seeing her in, you know, shorts and a t-shirt and you never know whose house you're going to walk into, you know? Right. right. Um, it's wild. You know, when we were there, another thing, another thing that you're making me think of is at boot camp. so many of the women shared their stories um, about, you know, just, just in general. Well, for example, they took Debbie Beard's video course and um, that is so much fun in itself. It's definitely my favorite class um, because it's interesting to me, but the women would reveal something or, you know, just, they really had to dig deep. Most of them really had to dig deep. Um, and just watching the transformation in Debbie's class, um, and that's what Debbie needs to be doing. Like she needs to be doing these video courses. Um, so much can come from that. Even if you never want to do a video ever, even just taking the course, like, it's like, it was so fun just watching the women, like some of them somehow like Mallory got up. No, would Mallory get up there? No, it wasn't Mallory. There were several people that ended up like in tears but only because they were so moved. And I mean, Debbie's extremely passionate about it. Um, it was just, it was just one of those things. It was, it was a really special moment to watch a lot of those people get up there and really dig deep. I mean, they were like, I mean, I watched one woman say, no, I'm not going up there. No, I can't. But she did, she did it. That's good. Yeah, it was it was really a great time. How how do I do a video course? Um, Karen, listen, uh, Debbie Beard is working on that right now, kind of working out the gist of it. But this was in in boot camp, and it was for the retailers, um, and on our non retailer day too. But um, at some point, Debbie would like to get to the point where she can teach more video courses. So um, you just keep following us, and we'll be giving you all the information for that in the future. Um, all right, what do y'all think about this? So I have Prairie Gray. I have um, Farm Fresh. Now, you know, when I wax this baby, it's going to bring out the deep colors of it. And it's going to be a lot more bold and intense. Um, I have Sandy Blonde, Crinoline, Fancy Farm Girl, a uh, little bit of mint chip. And then I have a custom blended pink that I mix with Kissing Booth and Petticoat. Now, you give the hearts and the loves and the shares, you guys, because I'm picking two winners. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to bring you in closer so y'all can see this. I feel like it's too hard to see. Q. Yes. You're not saying I anything. love it. Are you not saying anything? I, I'm sorry. It's a, I'm just, it's kind of bright, sweetie. So I don't know if you turn your light back a little bit. It, yeah, there you, there you go. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at that magic. You'll see that magic happen right there before your very eyes. Dead gum. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. don't be scared, Miss Debbie Beard. They are good stuff. Let me um, let me show you one more thing because I only used a few of those, but on the on the, the sheet, stamp, there's all of these on the sheet. There's more birds. There's a lot more uh, flowers. Um, and you basically, I had this little square, so my goal was to use the smaller items, the smaller stamps, because I had to keep it within scale. But if I were doing it on like my big wardrobe doors, I would be able to use my bigger birds and all of the bigger flowers as well. Uh, but I think what I'm going right. to do is let this dry, and then in a few areas, I will probably use a darker brown wax. Um, also from DIY, I may even use a white wax, and then just cover the whole thing in clear. You think? What do you think? Q, what, tell me. I think use a little white and the dark, honestly, and then, um, yeah, age it a little bit. But, um, yeah, it looks really good. It looks good. You did good. I hate that I didn't get to paint with you tonight. But, well, next week they're not home, so I'll get to paint with you. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll be with you next Friday. Oh, because it's Is the... it next Friday? Or ne yeah, it's the 5th. Yeah. Yeah, I may be actually live, live with you. 
Never know. We'll see. I guess we'll just wait and see how that goes, won't we? Well, I mean, that would be my plan since I have to be there for the class, right? I'll believe it when I see it, sister. What the what? What? Y'all better sign up for Dion's class and come and see us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm selling tickets to my October 6th class, and this is what I'm going to be demonstrating. I'm going to yes. do it on a piece of furniture. And that piece of furniture will be given away to somebody that comes to the class. Um, I know we have quite a few coming, but even if it's 20 people, you're still going to your chances of you winning the piece and taking it home is pretty high. So share the video and you get yeah. automatically entered. That's all you have to do. Someone asked what you have to do. Um, Melissa Scott, I got to meet Melissa last week too. Yes, I did. So I'm going to give away two colors. And I'm going to pick two winners because I apologize. I forgot to pick somebody before I went on here and went live. Um, well, and the Betty went back in the pot. So Betty is up for grabs. So the, you pick three. And so you pick the third one for my Betty. Okay. I can do okay. that. Okay. I can do that. Unless the person goes back and watches the video from last week. Um, well, then I'll do, I'll keep my promise. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm planning on using the little C. Yes. And uh, Debbie wants to know when it starts to snow there. Um, here. So, Debbie. Is it it random? Be, it won't be because she's thinking when she wants to come, I bet you. She's going to come see me. Right, Debbie? So, it's not snowing Friday. It won't snow this Friday. <laughs> it won't be snowing. If you, you're safe in October, Debbie Lou. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um. I'm thinking Thank you, it Lena. doesn't usually start to snow until around Christmas time. And then most for Oklahoma, if we're going to get much snow, it's going to be between Christmas and February. March, like March 1st. February. It's going to be January and February are really the worst times for us when we do get it. But we usually get more ice than we do snow, which is even worse. Yeah, it is worse. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, Q, thank you for popping out and uh, the football game and coming in yeah. here. And, um, Thank you for, for, for letting me give you a little lesson. So um, I'm going to look forward to seeing you on Saturday. And we'll believe it if you really come. Oh, I'm coming. I'll be there. I got a plan. Honey, I already booked a hotel. You booked, I got to be. <laughs> you booked the hotels already? I didn't book the hotels, baby. I'm coming. Yes, You're Rita. stuck with me this weekend. All right. Yes, Rita. It does <laughs> snow in Oklahoma. It definitely snows in Oklahoma. So, um, you guys, the tickets are for sale for Saturday's class. I'm going to do something just like this with this same transfer, and I'm going to give a piece away to somebody that has come to the class. So, Q, I'll let you get on back to the football game. Thank you so much, honey. Okay. Have fun. All right. You guys have a great night. Please share, share, share. Okay. Yay. Yes, I finished all the aprons. They're gone. They're shipped away just because everybody's asking. <laughs> oh, good. The, the headdresses took me way longer than I anticipated. So, I yeah. So, I apologize for a little bit of delay, you guys, because they're layers and they have to dry and be heat set. We have to do them right. So, y'all have a good night. Thanks for coming. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. All right, so that was Kawita, and um, just to recap, you guys, I use the IOD stamps. If you're not familiar, that's Iron Orchid Designs. Um, I used blossom, well, branches, blossom, and birds. I know I said that backwards. Um, on Prairie Gray, Farm Fresh, and then I used a whole bunch of just random colors with the stamps that I that I attached on here. Um, the rest of this piece I'm going to show you, it's black. It was black originally. So I just painted the top up here just for this live. I'm going to finish this up this week, hopefully. Um, the best brush to be using for this is a little Frenchie, um, which is Paint Pixie. If you guys have any question, um, it has like a pointed tip. And it's the one, me too, Nicole Martin. Um, it's the little one, okay? It's about half the size of the original French tip. Um, so what else do we need to do? We need to do anything else? No, I think we're good. You guys have an awesome weekend. Thanks for showing up tonight. Thanks for being here. And um, 
Heather Watson is on its way, love. Yep, she has already shipped out aprons. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here, Kelly Weiler and Kenise and Debbie. And for all of you that came in tonight, I will see you guys next Friday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Thank you, Debbie. I love it, but everything turns out good when I've got my magic paint going on. I think it's going to look even better when I have the wax on it, too. So I can't wait to share that with you guys this week. And if anybody's interested, check this out. It's got drawers. It's got a set of drawers inside. So you can't beat that, right? Thank you, Janet. God bless you, too, sister. Y'all have a great night and an awesome weekend. And you, go be awesome.